that he was quitting. He gave up. He got tired, amen, of the brush and kitchen. He got tired, amen, of the rejection. So he got so busy, crazy. Look here. I ain't gonna preach no more. I know God called me. The word of God came to me and called me. I know God told me that I was a prophet. But ever, ever since God told me and called me, I was a prophet. These folks been put me in jail. These folks been prosecuting me. These folks been lying on me. Now oh, God talking to somebody in here. So he got this encouragement. And he quit. He thought he was quitting. <laughs> Amen. He thought he was quitting. I feel somebody in here. He, he thought that he was quick, but guess what? The word won't let you quit. Amen. There's something on the inside of you. Uh -huh. Amen. I know what you said, but God's word, I allow your word. Uh -huh. You said that you were never going to show up no more. Uh -huh. You said that you never were going to serve yeah. it no more. You said you weren't going to preach to nobody. Uh -huh. You said that I just give up on it. God, I'm yeah. just tired. I'm sick of tired of just being tired. I just give up on it, God. But it's that word that God has dropped down in your yeah. spirit. Yeah. Yeah. That will let you sleep last night. On, that will let you eat a good meal in peace. Yeah. You can watch the ball game because that way was just nursing in the back of your head. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? Did you hear me? Did you hear me shout over somebody? Come on! <laughs> that word is power. Yeah. Come on, man. That word is quick. Oh. Chop it down to uh -huh. And then let's get to this scripture. Eight minutes, somebody, we're going to pray for a few people tonight. And then we're going to hold you on our chains. And then chapter one. Come on, read. Verses. And then we're going to go to verse one. We got a little time, but I want to pray for some people. Amen. But I want you to be encouraged tonight to know that you're somebody. If you heard from God, you're somebody. Amen. It don't matter what your situation is or how it look, you're somebody. Amen. See, the thing about it, I don't need to know that you're somebody. You need to know that you're somebody. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. You need to know that you're somebody special in God. You need to know that you're valuable to God. Uh -huh. So you need to, now, now when we get that clear part that you're somebody and that you're valuable, Come on, somebody. Amen. And God can do what he's trying to do in your life. And I, feel the, I feel that we got some spirits of depressions in him. And what I mean by a depression, that's some of y'all been depressed. And the enemy been fighting you in your mind. I feel you in this house. And some of you don't even love yourself, but you're in this dinner tonight. Amen. I want to let you know that you're somebody you is loved by God. But you got to recognize that you're somebody. You got to recognize that you're somebody special. You got to recognize that the word of God came out to you. Amen. 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 You got to recognize that. So when you recognize that part, then you can rebuke the devil out your spirit. Uh -huh. You know, I'm feeling you in this house. And a lot of times people say, well, why they act like that? Why they even come to depress? Uh -huh. Look self-esteem. Right, I might be preaching to the folk right now. Right, See, people act. Hey, and you don't understand why people go to the internet and fight them because of who they are. Amen. 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 You just 